Hi, everyone. Opening day at Santa Anita. Six graded stakes races on the card. And we're going to be talking about them, including the first graded stakes. It's the grade two San Gabriel. It's race number five at a mile and one eighth. And, you know, the grass division out in California is really not that great. It's largely inconsequential with regards to the grand scheme of things, but it's not inconsequential for the favorite in this race. And his name is Hit the Road. Hit the Road was on his way to a, I believe he would have been competitive in the Breeders' Cup mile, but he came down with a fever, had the scratch. He hasn't started in three months. He's never raced beyond a mile. I'm talking about Hit the Road, the program favorite for the San Gabriel. So the San Gabriel gives him a chance to get back into top form. The rest of the field, you know, it's just kind of a mishmash bunch. Hit the Road is the best, fastest horse in the field, and he probably should have won the City of Hope Mile last time out. He had a brutal trip in a race that was won by Mo Forza. He finished third by a half length. The runner-up in that race, Smooth Like Straight, came back and finished second in the Breeders' Cup Mile. And I'd show the race again, the City of Hope Mile, but it was three months ago, and I really don't know what the point is because I am not convinced that a race three months ago at one mile is relevant when we start talking about the San Gabriel on December 26th. He hasn't raced since early October. I'm talking about Hit the Road. So, Yes, you just have to take my word for it. He had a ton of trouble. He could have won with the better trip. But what the relevance to that mile grass race is with regards to a mile and one eighth on Sunday, well, it remains to be seen. You could say the same thing about number two, Friars Road, who I actually picked on top. Uh, and it might be a mistake. I liked his last start. It was going a mile and a half. In a grade two at Del Mar, he's backing up to a mile and one eighth. So with regards to the two favorites, Hit the Road is racing a distance that is farther than he prefers. Friars Road is shortening up to a mile and one eighth, which is, dist is a distance shorter than he prefers. And the rest of the field, it's just kind of a scramble. Number three, Bob and Jackie has a chance to maybe get loose on the lead. Red Storm Rising, he did get loose on the lead last time out. And crushed an allowance field. Indian Peak has run races that are fast enough when he fires. Majestic Eagle, he's only three for 33, but he also has run races that are good enough. And Ready Soul, last time out, he rallied from behind to win a two other than last, uh, last out at Santa Anita. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is this. This race is kind of a wide open mess. Uh, I'm not going to force an opinion and I'm not going to suggest that hit the road is vulnerable, even though I suspect he might be, but I can't say for sure. And I don't even know if Friars Road can shorten up to a mile one eighth. So I guess bottom line, you're kind of on your own in this race. I picked Friars Road on top of hit the road, but I think that this race is an absolute scramble. If you're playing horizontal wagers, I would either you're going to either have to single hit the road or go deep. Um, I would just, I would think going deep would probably be the best way to go. Hit the road's going to be a short price. He's the best horse in the field. It might be a mistake to have picked against him, but I prefer Friars Road. So Friars Road over Hit the Road in the grade two San Gabriel stakes. There are better wagering opportunities in other races, and we'll talk about those in the next segments.